I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At a press briefing on Thursday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced the suspension of Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren. Having claimed Warren is backed by George Soros in a press release, DeSantis tore into Warren's record of refusing to prosecute certain offenses. DeSantis's move comes as conservatives bemoan liberal prosecutors and district attorneys who refuse to prosecute certain crimes in the pursuit of equity, as well as progressive bail reforms that have allowed repeat offenders to serve little to no time in prison for a range of offenses. DeSantis, who was running for re-election and is seen as a top 2024 Republican presidential aspirant, has made tough on crime policies central to his political identity. Thank you. Thanks to Sheriff Cronister for having us here for, for, the, for today's announcement. And we're, we're glad that uh, we're back in Hillsborough County. Our uh, government is a government of laws, not a government of men. And what that means is that we govern ourselves based on a constitutional system and based on the rule of law. But yet we've seen across this country over the last few years, individual prosecutors take it upon themselves to determine which laws they like and will enforce and which laws they don't like and then don't enforce. And the results of this in cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco have been catastrophic. You could go in in San Francisco and steal a certain amount of merchandise and you just would, by definition, not be prosecuted. That has undermined public safety. It has really hurt these communities uh, and has been devastating to the rule of law. So as I saw that happening across the country earlier this year, I asked my staff in my office to look around the state of Florida and to make sure that that was not going to happen here, where you would have individual prosecutors nullify laws that were enacted by the people's representatives. They spoke with law enforcement throughout the state. They spoke with line prosecutors throughout the state. Uh, and it all came back to this area here in the 13th Judicial Circuit in Hillsborough County. And the uh, response that we got was a lot of frustration on the part of law enforcement for criminals being let go and crimes not being prosecuted. Uh, and so we looked into it and we, we compiled a, a lot of the record. And I can tell you it's been a very, very troubling record. So uh, the prosecutor, state attorney for this judicial circuit, uh, Andrew Warren, has put himself publicly above the law. In June of 2021, he signed a letter saying that he would not enforce any prohibitions on sex change operations for minors. And that's a debate that we're having mostly administratively and through medical licensing in Florida, but other states have enacted penalties on the people that would perform those, which are really disfiguring these young kids. And he said, it doesn't matter what the legislature does in the state of Florida, uh, he's gonna exercise a veto over that. He's also instituted policies of, quote, presumptive non-enforcement. And this involves an array of different things, and you'll probably hear Sheriff Cronister and some of the other law enforcement officers talk about it, uh, but that is not consistent with the role of a prosecutor. Yes, you can exercise discretion in an individual case, but that discretion has to be individualized and case specific. You can't just say you're not gonna do uh, certain offenses. And then most recently, after the Dobbs decision was rendered by the U.S. Supreme Court, he signed a letter saying he would not enforce any laws relating to protecting the right to life in the state of Florida. And mind you, we have had prohibition on third trimester abortions for a long time. We've had prohibitions on partial birth abortions for a long time. And then most recently, the legislature enacted and I signed protections for unborn babies at three and a half months. And when they are aborted, it's typically done through a dismemberment procedure, which is really inhumane. Nevertheless, that is what the legislature has enacted and it's not for him to put himself above that and say that he is not going to enforce the laws. We don't elect people in one part of the state to have veto power over what the entire state decides on these important issues. The Constitution of Florida has vested the veto power in the governor. 
not in individual state attorneys. And so when you flagrantly violate your oath of office, when you make yourself above the law, uh, you have violated your duty, uh, you have neglected your duty, and you are displaying a lack of competence uh, to be able to perform those duties. And so today, we are suspending state attorney Andrew Warren effective immediately. <laughs> We are not going to allow this uh, pathogen that's been around the country of ignoring the law. We are not going to let that get a foothold here in the state of Florida. We are going to make sure that our laws are enforced uh, and that no individual prosecutor puts himself above the law. And I can tell you the states and the localities that have allowed this to happen, uh, they are ruining the day. You want to know why some people are moving to Florida? Because their communities are no longer safe thanks to prosecutors that think they know better than the people's representatives and they get to pick and choose which laws that they are, they are enforcing. So this was something that uh, had had a lot of input around the state. This is something that I think is a very, very important issue across our country that this movement would be allowed to take hold where you basically elevate your own personal conception of quote social justice over what the law requires of you. And I would note those who say this represents social justice, look at San Francisco. They had to recall this prosecutor who was put in funded by people like George Soros saying he's not going to prosecute. They did the recall election. He was recalled even in a very liberal jurisdiction, but the places that voted to keep him were the affluent communities who are not bearing the brunt of the policies. The places that voted to recall him were the working class communities because they bear the burden of ignorance and refusal to enforce the law. And so what this is all about is really when you uphold the rule of law, you are protecting the most vulnerable in our society. That's why we have a rule of law. And so I think today's uh, action is, is obviously warranted. I, I know that there'll potentially be some uh, uh, Florida Senate could potentially see this depending on how things are going out. Uh, but I just think that to take a position that you have veto power over the laws of this state is untenable. And, and I think it, it warrants the suspension and eventual removal of office. And so we're happy to be here with a 